All right, we're taking a look at historic no ban list again today. Uh, this time we're looking at a Belcher variant. Uh, this time we're taking a look at Golgari. And you've seen me play Belcher on the channel before. Um, I've done it in a bunch of different colors. You've seen mono green, which could generate a bunch of mana and power one of these things out. Um, obviously you've seen Izzet and Rakdos, which just basically bank on Iron Crag feet to generate seven mana, which is enough to activate Belcher. Uh, but now things change a little bit because with the no band list format, we have access to a lot of different ways to make a bunch of mana and those happen to land us in a new color here. So if we are green, we have access to channel. This is just a pretty much for seven life. You can make the mana to activate char belcher. That's just super, super good. You can do it as early as turn two if you wanted to. Uh, the other thing that you could do is you could also just dark ritual out a goblin char belcher. Um, if you have five lands and a dark ritual, uh, you can cast the Goblin Char Belcher and activate it. If it's if you have three lands and two dark rituals, you can uh, Belcher for uh, you can Belcher for lethal as well. And uh, I believe on turn one or two, you can pretty much get them if you have dark rituals times three. So a lot of the, well, not a lot of ways to get there, but we have multiple ways to get there. And the fact that we can also run Demonic Tutor along our Assemble the Team uh, allows us to find our channels and find our Dark Rituals much easier than we would be able to normally. Um, I have played Golgari Belcher just like in normal Historic, and it definitely struggled with this. It, Assemble the Team was the only way to get what you wanted, and it was often too slow because even after you casted this, you likely weren't going to win immediately. Uh, however, that kind of changes now because... We can just Demonic Tutor for channel, Assemble for channel, and then if we have a Belcher in hand, we're just good. Um, so it's all about just finding the Char Belcher then, which can, can <laughs> very easily be done with uh, Demonic Tutor and Assemble the team as well. So we have ways to find our combo, and we have a lot of ways to find the ability to cast it. And that's really what makes a Char Belcher deck good. Um, another thing that makes a Char Belcher deck good is the quality of the spell lands. And... When we play Is It, you'll notice that some of the spell lands are a little bit iffy. They're not super good. Granted, Turn Timber Symbiosis and Agadim's Awakening are not super good in this deck, but the lower spell lands are pretty good. Uh, you have Hagra Mauling, which gets discounted if your opponent controls no basic lands, and in this format with no bans, uh, and it basically allowing you to play whatever card you want, even if it's not in your, um, in your collection, this often means that a bunch of players are going to be not playing basic lands because they have access to all the nice lands. Uh, that makes Hagra Mauling into a murder, which is pretty nice. Balagad Recovery is just a good card to get back your channel or your Belcher if it ends up in the graveyard. And Palaka Predation is just another Thoughtseize uh, with a little tax on top. And then, of course, Tangled Florahedron has just always been good uh, as a extra mana dork alongside our Elvish Mystic and Llanowar Elves. Uh, aside from the cards that we talked about already, we do have Mishra's Bobble also coming off of the ban list. Uh, this is essentially just a cantrip for us, and um, you know that's pretty much just all we need. Helps us get closer to our Belcher or to our channels and rituals. We got Thoughtseize to hit our opponent's hand and check for um, any sort of interaction uh, before we go for a combo. And we have Veil of Summer to uh, basically try to force our combo through if our opponent is trying to counter our Belcher or something. So that's pretty much the deck. We have a lot of things going for us here. The curve is a perfect triangle if you look at it that way. Um, I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I know that I definitely am going to. I think let's uh, just hop into some games here, see what we can do with uh, Golgari Belcher. Before we do that though, if you've been enjoying the content in the channel and want to support me, you can do so by subscribing if you are new or by liking the video or commenting if you are a returning subscriber. Uh, all that means a lot to me, but the thing that means the most is that you're here watching the video, so let's hop into some games and see what we can do with Golgari Belcher. Alright, here we go. This is our round one, and we have a channel. That is huge. So this is a potential turn to win here. Uh, we're going to shock this in, play Land of War Elves. And our opponent is dead next turn if they do not produce anything here. We even have Veil of Summer. Uh, if we draw another... Uh, turn timber. Ooh, the strangle. That's unfortunate. Um, so what we can do here is we can Mishra's Bobble. We can Shock Agadim's Awakening. We can Demonic Tutor for an untapped land. And then just attempt to channel next turn. Um, I will target myself. 
looking to see if the card that I want is on top. It is not, so I'll crack off this Demonic Tutor. Uh, I will find it, and then we have a chance of drawing another one next turn. We find Assemble the Team, which is also good. So we are insulated against some sort of hand hate here. Uh, opponent taps out, which means that we are A-OK -okay to go. Uh, let's go ahead and shock this in, and then channel. We are going to go down to 4 life, make 7 mana. We could have just even used the Dark Ritual, but why not? One in Rome. And uh, yeah, that's 49 damage to the face, and we've taken our first game just like that. Wow, I love Belcher. Uh, there's something different when you're playing it with banned cards, though. This is just potent. Uh, Alright, sweet. That was a quick round one. Let's hop into round two and see what we can do. Alright, let's go. This is our round two. We do have the channel in hand. Uh, unfortunately, no uh, green mana here. That is kind of an issue. Uh, Mishra's Bobble is okay. I think I'm probably going to mulligan to find a green land here, though. This is otherwise a very good hand. Um, before I do that, yeah, I would just Agadim's Awakening. Dark Ritual doesn't really do anything for me right now. Yeah, I'm mulling this one. Um, this is a bit better. I like the land situation here. We can go try to interrupt them with a Thoughtseize, I guess. And then turn to Shock uh, Symbiosis. Let's look at their top card, try to see what they're on. Mana Confluence, that doesn't tell me much. Uh, we now have Veil of Summer, that's potentially very good for us. And now Demonic Tutor will just have to be used for whatever we don't find uh, on this next turn. Or whatever we don't find first, the Channel or the Belcher. Ooh, it's a Ragavan, okay. So this is at least Rakdos, possibly a uh, Grixis Delver. We'll pay 3 life for this and get a Mystic out and get a Thoughtseize out. See what they're working with here. Uh, it looks like Lightning Bolt that can take out my creature, but so can Fatal Push. Um, they have second Ragavan in hand, so I think I'll just try to take away the Snapcaster Mage because that represents either another Fatal Push or Lightning Bolt. All right. I will declare blocks here because uh, they're just gonna point a lightning bolt at my elvish mystic otherwise. All right. Swing in. So they're about to gain a whole lot of advantage with Ragavan. That's gonna be tough for me. So I have Dark Ritual and two tutors here. So I'll assemble the team first, find one of the things that I want. Now the question is, do I want to try to cast off of Dark Ritual or do I want to try to um, see if I can get through with a, with a pass the turn play? Because I could just sit on my dark ritual grab a belcher which actually i didn't even find any right here that's unfortunate so what i think i'll do is i will grab turn timber symbiosis and then demonic tutor can maybe go get a channel that's unfortunate did i really not hit any belchers here wow that's unfortunate so if i had casted demonic tutor there what i could have done is next turn dark ritual and then just casted it and then play to pass the turn play so if I look at their hand, they don't have anything that can disrupt that. Okay, so a misplay there. What I'll do is, I guess, just play towards a channel situation. Uh, I'm not going to shock this. I'll put it in tapped. We'll probably just try to use the Veil of Summer uh, to protect our combo. I'm trying to think. So this is Grixis. Okay, they rip a turn timber symbiosis. Very cool. I'm still fine if I top deck a Belcher. Even if I top deck a land. If I top deck one of my untapped lands, I can still get a Belcher out. I can tutor for Belcher and then cast it off Dark Ritual. 
Uh, that means that I would have to find exactly an untapped black land. Okay, that's channel. So, how does this work? I go, ch oh wait, actually, hold on. So channel, pay one life to demonic tutor. Yeah, okay, this works. So channel. No counter spell yet. Pay a life, cast demonic tutor. I guess I could have dark ritualed there. Uh, get a belcher and pray this belcher resolves. Go to six. Activate belcher target face. Does it happen? We go to three. We're dead to a lightning bolt. But they are dead to Belcher damage. Let's go. We played that one right down to the wire. And even though we missed the probably cleaner kill, uh, we were able to make it happen in the end. Um, this is a very fun style of magic to play where things are like a puzzle. Um, the path to victory is definitely not clear initially, but there are ways to find your way there. And... It's all about finding those inventive routes and finding a line that might not be initially obvious. Uh, so I'm definitely enjoying this deck. Uh, we got a couple more games to play, so let's hop into round three and see what we can do. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Round three. We have a channel here. Just one green mana so far. We have a Mishra's Bauble and a Predation. So that means we will be able to cast Assemble the team. And we could just get a Belcher, or we could find a green mana source. I think this is probably fine. We have a draw, we have a second draw potentially. I think this could happen. Uh, we do find our second green source potentially. Let's bobble our opponents, see what they're doing, if uh, anything. Faithless looting, interesting. We find second bobble. Alright. We do need to pass again next turn. Ooh, Mind's Desire combo. Okay. It's going to be a race here. So, I will probably... Elf. Let's get a Predation out as well. Bobble. We'll bobble them one more time, see what's happening. Lotus Field, that's an interesting one. Alright, now we have Turn Timber Symbiosis, so I believe this represents a kill. We have Assemble the Team for Belcher, Shock Symbiosis, Channel. Um, I think in this situation, I'm not going to have Veil of Summer, though. Alright, and they're tapped out, so we just get to go for it. Um, here is pay three life. Here is holding up double green to cast assemble the team. Find Belcher. We got lucky with that one. Cast channel. Belcher for four. And opponent knows what's happening. We got him. What a game. Uh, we are 3-0 and with Golgari Char Belcher. This thing is an absolute force right now. Uh, I know that I'm loving it. You guys should definitely give this one a try. This format's amazing. Let's hop into round four. See what we can do. Let's go. All right, this is round four. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. With one land, not that much. Let's mull. Uh, this one's not bad. Um, we have Hagra mauling into... Well, let's see. We could do Tangled Florahedron into Llanowar Elf into either Channel or Hagra mauling. I'm down. That means we probably just get rid of Assemble the team here. Now we have two ways to win. <clears throat> oh, they're mulling hard here. This could be a Tibalt's Trickery deck. That's the only one that I know that mulls like this. They go to four. Okay. Well, we have a turn three. In a few different ways. So, unless they kill my Atlanta Werewolf, I think we have them. They go once upon a time, so this is not what I thought it was. This is elves. Oh, I'm not really worried about elves at all. Okay. It's a uh, elf ramp. <laughs> so they'll take that. If I find an untapped land, it's still not over. 
Um, unfortunately, Dark Ritual is not going to help me here, so I have to pass. And our opponent might have just hamstringed us just in time. Elsewhere Shepherd, sure. Um, okay, so we're going to go to 10, and we have one draw here in order to dig out. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, good thing is, is we have the Belcher in hand. So it needs to be an untapped mana source, and uh, I think even if that, we're still in trouble, aren't we? Mishra's Bobble. Well, that's not going to do it. We'll take a look at the top of our own library, and I think our opponent's just got us here. Second Dark Ritual. That wouldn't have been enough. We need a third one in order to activate Belcher. Um, okay, well, let's make three mana and tell the opponent they've got the game here. We'll go ahead and concede this one. Uh, we're dead to the next Ulamog attack. And, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, channel works both ways, right? Opponent got theirs off, and uh, Ulamog definitely is a hard one to beat, that's for sure. Okay, well, that was our round four, another quick one. Let's hop into round five. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is round five. We've got a Belcher in hand here. A tough one lander. If we find a black mana source, we have Dark Ritual into Demonic Tutor into Second Green Source or uh, Channel. This one's decent. I don't think I can keep it though. Opponent's Mulligan, so I will too. This one is bad for a different reason. We don't have black mana, so Assemble the Team isn't useful. I might go down to 5 here. If my opponent keeps, it's going to be a hard, uh, hard one to take. But I will... So let me think about this one. I can put back one of the lands. I go land, elf, second land. And then it's not really clear what I would do. I guess I would just have to hope to draw black mana source off of bobble. I'm going to go to five. We're going to try this. We get channel here. But not much else to do. I'm going to maybe hold a Veil of Summer. Maybe they play Thought Seize. Maybe they do anything. This is essentially a card. Whereas, unless my lands get removed, I already have channel mana. So I'll try it like this. We'll hold up Veil of Summer. Inquisition of Kozilek. They can take my Bauble. Hope they just take channel or Veil of Summer. Bobble is actually a very good pick here because that is pretty much my only turn one play. And it's my only way to draw a card for like a while. They take channel, that's fine. We even redraw the channel, that's huge. Um, so because they showed me Thought Seize, I'm going to pay three life and hold up Veil of Summer. Uh, I will take a look at their top of the library, though I probably know what they're doing. Um, okay, so black green. This is either Golgari or Jund Control, I guess. Alright, we find a black mana source, so any sort of tutor, and we're live here. Uh, opponent has their own tutor. Do I Veil of Summer here? No, I think I protect against the Thought Seas. Especially if they're assembling the team for something. Okay, opponent gives us our turn back. We'll take that. Here is Palaka Predation. Here is a Llanowar Elf. We're going to open ourselves up to a Thought Seize, but they didn't cast one last turn, so maybe they want this turn. Who knows? This might be a Fatal Push. No, it's an Inquisition. They're going to take Channel again. So maybe I should have kept Veil. Oh, they even have their own Channel. So they have whatever they tutored for as well, so this is looking bad. Yeah, alright, it's Ulamog. We're gonna die in the same way, it looks like. Um, would be nice if we had Veil of Summer up, that's for sure. Oh, actually, no, that wouldn't have mattered against Ulamog. It's Hexproof from Blue and Black. And yeah, this is looking like a tough uh, sell here. Can we draw into anything that makes us better? I think it's unlikely we draw into what we need. We're gonna have to put Elvish Mystic out as a... The locker. What I'll do is... Oh man, I was hoping to rip the uh, untapped green source. Uh, we don't have it, so I think we'll just go ahead and concede from this position. Uh, can't really win against the Ulamog. Um, yeah, so I think one thing that could have helped was holding up Veil to not get my 
channel discarded, but honestly, I just didn't have my payoff, so, you know, not much I can do there. Uh, because these games have gone really fast, I'll play another two or three more, um, just to make this video in line with my other ones. Uh, so let's hop into an unprecedented round six. Well, it, there's precedent. I've done this before, but you know what I mean. Let's play round six. All right, here we go. This is our round six now. This is a tough one. If I get a black mana source, I can Demonic Tutor for channel. Then I have double Belcher. I'm going to try it. This is essentially a one lander, though, so that is the one issue. Hope of Gearifer. This is a deck that I haven't seen before. Alright, they can already just straight up channel right now. Is this a channel play? It's Abundant Harvest, okay. They just go for another basic forest. So this is mono green something. I don't really know what they're doing with a Hope of Gearifer, though. So we'll gear up her. They're going to legend rule. I am confused. We'll play three life to get two creatures onto the battlefield. Um, to avoid a potential maelstrom pulse if this deck plays black, I'll play two different named spells. Um, and we just have Belcher next turn. <laughs> I'm fine to just play a Belcher. If we get an untapped black source, then I get channel. Okay. So we'll pay three life here, Demonic Tutor for channel. There's our channel. All right, we'll do this, and then we're gonna hold up Veil of Summer here, though I doubt it'll matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, and here's a Belcher. All right, and I will deal some damage to the face. Is it enough? Sage you. I th so I'm not totally sure how this works. I'm pretty sure that uh, even with this on the stack, it's not going to matter that they just sage this. I will take a take that action and fail to find. And yeah, now we still have him for 49. Sweet. All right. Um, yeah, so we were able to get them there. Um, the reason that this works that way, um, and now I'm no rules expert or anything, but um, the reason that it works this way, this is going to be the same with um, uh, Orcish Bowmasters. The reason that this works is because this is all one single uh, game item, or it's like one one paragraph, and the game considers it one action. So because... Even if the permanent's not on the battlefield, this ability is what deals the damage. Um, that's the best explanation I can give. Um, <laughs> if you're a rules lawyer in the comments, definitely do correct me, because uh, this is probably not the way that <laughs> someone in the know would explain it. Uh, but anyway, we've taken round six here. Uh, we're going to play two more, so uh, let's hop into round seven. Here we go. All right, this is our round seven. We have Channel and Charbelcher. Uh, this is a risky one lander, but one that I am down to give a try. Keep seven. Opponent also did. If this is a uh, black mana turn one thought, sees taking my Valigid recovery. Well then, that one's just gonna be on me. All right, nice. Just a tap land. Well, that'll work. And they are definitely playing a Mishra's Bobble or some zero cost spell. Yep, there it is. Looks like they'll take a look at my top. Okay, so we are a potential turn two or turn three win here. They draw their card. I draw a Hagger Mulling. Uh, I need to play like this so I can cast an Elvish Mystic next turn. Is it Delver? Another Bobble, okay. So they saw my Hagger Mulling, they're probably knowing that I'm on Belcher. Uh, we may have to fight through a counter spell here. Luckily, Veil of Summer is going to help us do that. Okay, so we know they play Jawari Disruption, so I guess the move then is to shock this Agadim. Make sure my Elvish Mystic doesn't get uh, manatized. And so now, 
Well, actually, we're one mana off. I was going to say we, we ideally want to have Channel with the uh, Veil of Summer backup. So I think this next turn is going to be cast Demonic Tutor for a green source, play Hagra Mauling. So we just need to find our, we need to just find our play here. We gotta bait out some counter spells with Demonic Tutor. Well actually this would be a perfect time to be able to crack off a channel, unfortunately we can't do it. Um, Okay, so how would this work? We'll cast Demonic Tutor, see if they let me have it. This could be Spell Pierced. Looks like it is going to be Spell Pierced. Oh, they give it to me. So we're going to hold on to this turn Timber Symbiosis and then use this as our land, faking that we like went for a channel or something. And then next turn, we can attempt a win with one channel get it countered and then hope that our next turn brings us an untapped symbiosis to get Veil of Summer online with channel hmm let's you know what I could just put this in tapped or I could just try to jam a belcher Opponent has only three lands. They could cast Counterspell, which I gotta imagine they have. Hmm. I think resolving a Belcher would just about be lethal anyway. Or, like, they would have to counter a Belcher anyway. So, rather than playing Channel and then spending a bunch of life to get a Belcher onto the stack, I'll pay three life here and just cast the Belcher and do whatever Counterspell they have. Yeah, okay. Well, Spell Pierce is one that I am not really happy to see. Um, if the Spell Pierce is their only counter spell in hand, um, that would not have worked against the channel option. But what I imagine that they would do is <clears throat> they would uh, let the channel resolve and then Spell Pierce me. Well, no, they would use their um, their straight up counter spell to just counter the Char Belcher. Um. Well, I mean, I'm going to be going to three anyway, so I might just need to channel here. Okay, so we draw our symbiosis. So how does this work? <clears throat> I have two mana for channel, pay three life, go to seven for symbiosis holding up Veil of Summer. I cast Belcher for two, go to five. I can activate Belcher going to two. Okay. Uh, I am dead to any sort of burn and any second counter spell off of Ragavan. They would have to have specifically memory lapse, memory lapse or memory lapse counter spell. Okay, let's resolve a channel. They're deciding whether or not to let this one resolve. They brainstorm. Um, yeah, that means they don't have it in hand, which means they're going to have to try to find it here. As long as they didn't find two counter spells, my Veil of Summer should be fine. Alright. Do they have it? All right, they've picked their cards. What happens to channel? They're gonna crack Fable Passage, shuffle their Brainstorm. Are they gonna Brainstorm again looking for Memory Lapse? That's the only thing that I could imagine. Ooh, that's, that's difficult. Um. Yeah, that hits me no matter what, so I will go to four. I could try to go to one here, unless they counter my channel. Oh, they put me to one. That's so tough. Okay, so what do I do here? 
I can't even pay for a Belcher now. Darn, that's tough. Double Lightning Bolt is going to be brutal. And of course, Veil of Summer doesn't even draw me anything. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and wow, they just had the second... They had the third Lightning Bolt there. So I guess the correct play there would have been to... Um, uh, yeah, sure. I'm dead. Uh, I think the correct play there would have been to Veil of Summer... Well, actually... Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't. I didn't have a way to counter that brainstorm, so they were gonna get it anyway. If I could have countered the brainstorm, uh, I would have had to do that instead of trying to counter uh, a counter spell that they find with the brainstorm. Really close game there. Uh, my opponent was able to definitely pull it out there. Brainstorm's a super strong card. So is Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Three of them really just closed the game out there. All right. Well, that was our round seven. We have a final round eight coming up. Let's try to make it a good one. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is our final round, and we are graced with a Goblin Charbelcher right off the bat. Um, we have Symbiosis into Elves, and if we get a Black Mana Source, then we have Demonic tu or we have Dark Ritual, Demonic Tutor, and Thoughtseize. I think I'm kind of happy with that. All right, we're taking yet another one lander. Uh, a lot of the times this has really ended up hurting us, but let's live dangerously. Buried ruin, that's interesting. Um, we'll bobble, taking a look at their library. Let's see what they're up to. Um, okay, so this is just historic storm. Uh, that is definitely not the worst thing that we could see. We get a free one damage in with our Land of War Elves. That probably doesn't really matter. Ooh, all right. This is good. Okay, so how do we win like this? Um, we go Agadim's Awakening into Dark Ritual. So we are going to pay through life. Dark Ritual. Demonic Tutor. We grab Channel. And we have Lethal. All right, an opponent knows it. One more good time with Golgari Belcher. I had such a fun time playing this deck. Um, these games were fun. They were mentally stimulating, honestly. And uh, we definitely got into some uh, fun fights here and there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can show your support by dropping a like on the video or commenting whatever is on your mind. And if you are new to the channel, you can also show your support by subscribing to the channel. I've been posting videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for historic content. And recently I've been doing a stint with this historic no band list stuff. So if you've enjoyed that and you want to see more, do drop a subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a bunch. That being said, that is all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Give the deck a try. The link will always be in the description. And I will see you in the next one.